welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I want to do a back to school look because unfortunately school is right around the corner. And as much as I don't love school, I do love getting ready for school and I love fashion and I love, you know, just getting ready in general, honestly. It's kind of like relaxing for me. So I, of course, want to do a back to school look and put a little bit of light on that. I hope you guys enjoy this. I'm going to show you guys my makeup, my outfit, and I'm going to link how I did my hair as well if you guys are interested on doing this very cool voluminous ponytail. Um, if you guys are new to my channel, I would love for you guys to subscribe and leave me some comments down below. And yeah, that is it. Without further ado, let's get into the look. So to start off the makeup look today, I am going in with a primer, and this one's from Laura Mercier. It's the foundation primer, and I find it really helps make my makeup last longer, and it's really great for hydration as well, so I am using that. And then I'm going in with my CoverGirl Elixir Foundation in the shade Buff Beige, which is an amazing everyday foundation, and it is also affordable, which is awesome. I do have a whole dedicated video on that if you guys want to see my thoughts and how it worked and how long it lasted and stuff like that. But it gives a really nice amount of coverage, and it's great for every day. I then do like to go in with the True Match Super Blendable Concealer in W5 for every day. This is such an awesome concealer because it gives a really pretty luminous finish to the skin and it doesn't make me look too like I'm wearing too much makeup, like it's not cakey looking whatsoever, yet it does cover what needs to be covered, which is awesome. I do blend that in a bit using my fingers and then if I do need to, I'll go in with a mini beauty blender and just make sure everything is blended perfectly. To highlight the face more, I am going in with another concealer from Maybelline, and this is the Instant Age Rewind one in the color 115, I believe. It's the neutralizer color, and it really helps brighten everything up and make me look super awake, which is really awesome for those early mornings. Because we are layering up products, it's always nice to add some highlight in there just to give the illusion of a fresher face and give our face a more like luminous and natural kind of complexion. And I'm using the Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops to do so. This is such an awesome product. I have a whole strobing look on my channel and you'll see how natural yet beautiful this product is. It really just makes all the difference to my makeup routine, so I definitely recommend it. This is in the shade Sunlight and I'm really in love with the way that this makes my overall makeup look. I do start off by blending that into my face using my fingers, but then I will go in with a mini beauty blender just to allow that to soak in all that extra product that's on my face and make sure everything is blended perfectly. To set all my cream products in place, I'm using my favorite powder, which is the RCMA No Color Powder, and I'm putting that under my eyes and in my T-zone area, basically all the areas that I apply concealer. And I also like to put some under my contour area, and this is really going to make sure that the foundation and everything that I've put underneath stays in place all day. To add dimension to the face, I like to go in with a cream contour and I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation Stick in the shade 355. I've been using this for years. I think every single time I've used a cream contour, it's been this one. It's really awesome. I do like to apply it straight from the applicator and then go in with my Sephora slanted brush in the number 55 just to blend that into place. To bronze up the face and set the cream contour in place as well, I'm using this awesome bronzer from NYX in the shade Deep, which will really add that warmth back into the face and also add a bit of a light contoured appearance. I don't want to go too heavy on the contour given that this is more of an everyday look, but I do still want to accentuate my features, so this is a really great way to do that. To add some more color to the face, I'm now using a blush from MAC in the color Gingerly, which is not too drastic, yet it really gives a nice flush to the cheeks. And for a highlight, I'm using my go-to Champagne Pop Highlighter from the Becca and Jaclyn Hill collaboration. I really love the undertone of this product for my skin tone. It's really awesome. And I also do like the finish because it doesn't give too much of a powdered look, so it looks a little bit more natural. I'm lightly now going over my brows to accentuate the shape a bit and I'm using my BH Cosmetics Brow Pencil in Brunette to do so. 
And lastly, for my eyes, I really want to focus more on a flawless face for this look, so that's why I'm going lighter on the eyes today. So for eyes, I'm just going to go in with a cool brown eyeliner, and this one's from Maybelline, and it's the Color Show one in the shade 410. And I'm focusing that on my upper lash line, giving myself like a cat eye type of effect. And I'm also going to add some to my lower lash line, mainly focusing it on the outer corners, and I'm going to smoke that out using a dense pointed eyeshadow brush to do so. Last but certainly not least, for lips, I'm using some new products that I recently got from Makeup Forever. So I am sticking to nudes though, because especially for an everyday look, I only wear nude lipsticks. So for the lip liner, I'm using the Aqua Lip Liner from Makeup Forever in the shade 3C, and it's a really pretty nude color. And because we're in school all day and do not have time to have 100 touch-ups, I do love going in with a liquid lipstick because they do last much longer. This one's also for Makeup Forever, and it's the Liquid Lip in the shade 103. I really do love the color of this, and paired with a lip liner, it gives a really pretty natural combination. Of course, you can't forget mascara. So I am using my L'Oreal Telescopic one, which is really going to help open up the eyes and add dimension and darkness a little bit. So I'm putting that on the lower lashes, but of course, I would have added to the top as well if I didn't have eyelash extensions. And I do love to finish off the look by spraying the Makeup Forever Mist and Fix Setting Spray. It feels so good on the face and it really does help give more of a fresh and hydrated appearance. Now for hair, I'm basically starting by putting my hair in a high ponytail and I'm just kind of gelling that into place, making sure everything just looks a little smoother. But if you guys want a much more in-depth video as to what I did to achieve this voluminous ponytail, I definitely urge you guys to check out my video. I have a step-by-step -step demonstration on how I do this. I'm using the Bellamy Bugatti set. Uh, Specifically, the volumizing weft. It's this huge piece that you kind of wrap around your ponytail. It works awesome. It's just such a convenient piece to have for those days where you don't have time to actually do your hair, but you still want to look put together. Alright, so finally for my outfit, I wanted to make an outfit that is definitely a little more than just like leggings and a shirt because I know that's typically what most people would wear on an everyday basis at school because we don't have that much time to think through an outfit. But I did want to make this video so that you guys can be inspired to kind of piece together a cool outfit for those days where you want to impress a few people. <laughs> so basically for my top, I'm wearing this tight kind of bandeau style top. It's just a basic cotton material. I got this a while back from garage you can get this in so many places i actually recently got a bondo style top very similar to this from brandy melville i definitely would recommend you guys checking that out or even like forever 21 or h&m they always have basic pieces like that and for my jeans these are my go-to jeans this is the jamie pair from top shop with the rips at the knees so it looks really good there's not too many rips so i feel like it could be school appropriate also, for my jean jacket, which is the staple of this outfit, I got this from Forever 21. I absolutely love the details in the back with the patches. Now, keep in mind, I actually did cut this jean jacket. It was longer, and I just cropped it just to give it more of an edgy look, but it would definitely look really good long as well. For my shoes, I'm wearing my Vans sneakers. I really love these. And to accessorize, I decided to put something around my neck, and I found this really cute bandana recently at a vintage store for under $5. I know you guys can find these in so many places, including Forever 21. So if you guys want to add a cool touch to the look, I definitely recommend doing that. And that is it for the outfit. I really hope you guys enjoyed this overall look. I really enjoyed making this for you guys. I would not only wear this for an everyday school look, but I would wear this on a casual night out as well. I really do like the way that this turned out. Of course, if you guys have any other questions or thoughts, leave that down below and subscribe to my channel if you guys are new. And I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye, guys.